Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss Apache, Access, C++, XML, Parsers. Apache Access C++ can be found on the Apache official website. It's licensed by Apache Software Foundation and it's for the XML parser and the related software components. Access C++ is a validating XML parser written in a portable subset of C++. Access C++ makes it easy to give your application the ability to read and write XML data and a shared library is provided for parsing generating, manipulating, and validating XML document using DOM, SAX, and SAX2 APIs. So DOM stands for the Document Object Model. SAX stands for the Simple API for XML. And this was uh, distributed under the license of Apache Software License version 2.0. To download this API, can be click download here, and it says you can download the XRC++ source distribution from the master distribution directory. So click this master distribution directory and come here. Because our environment is the Linux, so we can download this under .tar .gz files. So here on my Linux, and uh, I can down download this, it's .tar.gz files. So to install this uh, file, file, we can do the first, we have to enter this using command tar minus xcvf and these file names. So after we do this, it will be extracted and a subdirectory, and uh, so we can go to that subdirectory to run the command dot slash forward slash configure and uh, because this is a CMake package so this configure will set up an environment to the for your CMake list and after that as we have made a video preview video talking about the CMake on top of a make so we can run make to compiling the C++ applications and after we make the last step is the make install. Make install will be copy the compiled utility library and the header file to the system directory under user local include and under library directory. So, so let's run the first step and tar this. So you can see we create a subdirectory. We go to this subdirectory. And uh, so you can see this is the was interacted. So the command we're going run is the configure. And we can see this is the CMake package. So there's CMake list.txt. So we run this configure. So it's working. So after configure finished, we're doing the making. So the now we got a compiled then with the last step is the sudo make and this one this this step need a super user the current user is not a super user so we have already done this so we skip these steps and now we have to know how to verify installation first we have to, to verify the utility we know there's a utility called the dom count so you can see our utility has been installed. So this utility is the counting the elements, number of elements of XML files. And the second one, we need to check the header files. Header file will be installed user local include. So you can see this access is the directory. This is the header file. So you can see our header file has been installed. And the third one, for C++, we have to check the library. 
you can see our library called the library xrc 32 is being installed. So now we check the header file, utility, and the library. So we are ready to go for our C++. So first, uh, in this directory, we create a simple program dot cpp called my dom parser. My dot parser is where we have to include some header file. One is the access dom parser cpp. Access dom parser is a class which is used for create instance to of the access class used for the parser XML files. So we write this program to parser uh, XML files. So the extra C++ program pattern is very simple. First, you have to create a, uh, start a utility initialization. And then you do something in logic after finished and do the XM platform utilities terminate. So everything have to do between the initialize and terminate. So in this program, we just a simple program, we just create a usage a XM file, we just want to parse this XM files. So as we say, first we initialize. We use the try, see initialize, if it was as an exception, we just print exception error message. So this is initialize. And after that, we have to initialize the parser, which is the access DOM parser class. X DOM parser class can be found on the in document and online. This is a class reference. This uh, class has a uh, lot of uh, method utilities and uh, doing the parser and the related functions. So after we consider the pointer, the parser, we have to set up the validation scam and this validation scam has three options. So validate never, which don't validate. And the validate auto means automatic validation based on the specification and the validate always. In this simple example, we just choose validate always. After that, there's a few options you can set up. So if we just set up do namespace, we can set up true or false. We can set up a do schema false true. Set up a handle multiple uh, importers and the true false and the set up a validation full check true false. These are all optional and uh, so this is a simple example. We just uh, keep these two set up a validation schema and the set up do namespace. So and after that we have to set up this parser. We create an error handling, which is a class error handling, and uh, and then we set up error handling with this uh, error handling. So this is uh, our centralized our parser and set up minimal setup validation and uh, error handling. So what we do, we just uh, call the parser and using the parser, and this is the uh, argument one which is from the command line, which is our XML files. So we, our program is my DOM parser and the XML parser. This is ARGV1, which is XML file. So we parser this XML file. And the simple, we just do this one. And if there's an error, will be goes to into trap into the exception. So we categorize this exception is, is for XML exception. We just print the error message of exception. If DOM exception, and we just print the get an error message. And also simple X, AX API XML person, we just print the error message. And we can print the line from which line, which column and of this uh, error happen. And uh, so after parser, if RC equal equal zero, it means uh, there's no exception. We just uh, print out XML file, argument one, which parse okay. And otherwise we can print out the error message of this. Uh, so finish the parsing, we just uh, delete the parsing, delete the error handle and uh, terminate the utility. 
which is free the memory and it returns there. This is a very, very simple example to check our in the installation. So we save this. So in the make file, because this is uh, Excel, we have to include this library, Excel-C-3.2. This is uh, we installed our library. We compile. We compiled. So this is uh, our executable. So to verify this, we have to create a XML file. So we just uh, say the program XML file. So let's run this. You see, this is uh, means a uh, parse. Okay. So let's check our XML file. This is a uh, sample. We just uh, copied uh, from the internet. It's a breakfast menu. Uh, let's uh, try to make an error on this XML file. We deleted this uh, entire for this one. So you know, each element has a start target and end target. We deleted one of end target. We save this. So you can see our parsing will return on line 27 versus so expect end target of descriptions. Line 27, end of this node. On this node, we see so we expect end target of descriptions. We make this end target will be slash description. We, now we add this tag. We try to run this again. Parser is okay. So as we see, access has also utility. DOM count. This utility is a count the element. So we do this with Excel files. So you can see this count tell us our XML file has 26 elements. So there's other utilities which you can test yourself. In this video, we successfully installed Apache Access and we can make a simple C++ to parse XML files. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.